Today, the World Health Organization announced it is ending the emergency it declared for COVID-19 more than three years ago. Finally, yeah. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl takes us through what this means for us now. It's been three years. Can Long time. It's oh. been a while covering this, right? Well, the announcement, though, doesn't change much since many countries have already ended their states of emergency and lifted most public health restrictions. Now, next week here in the United States, the COVID public health emergency here, that, declara that declaration will also officially end. It's the symbolic end to the devastating coronavirus pandemic that triggered once unthinkable lockdowns, upended economies, and killed at least 7 million people worldwide. In the U.S., the turning point in the three year fight against COVID happens on May 11th, when the nation's COVID 19 public health emergency will officially expire. But the CDC says that doesn't mean COVID is gone. COVID 19 remains a risk. Even though the public health emergency is coming to a close, especially for Americans who are immune compromised. What the end of the public health emergency means is a shift in how the government fights COVID. Free tests won't be as readily available, and the CDC will no longer collect state and local data on COVID cases. The question is why now? There are a few reasons. The first is that the nature of COVID-19 is different now than it was one, two, or three years ago. Because of the work of getting vaccinated, getting tests available, and getting therapies, it's not the acute emergency that it was before. That's a good thing, even though it remains a risk. But the CDC says it will continue to track the disease using data from labs, hospitals, and emergency departments. And doctors believe by testing wastewater, they can detect future COVID outbreaks quickly. Now, the CDC recommends that people over the age of 65 and those with compromised immune systems keep up to date on their COVID booster shots. Yeah. Still not over just yet, right? Not over. Still we still have to, to be vigilant. cautious. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Steph. Mm -hmm.